Okay. All right. Um, so these are all the instruments that uh, we have in the clinic um, that you can use. So the first one that I will introduce is the sickle. So you can see that the shape of the sickle, the end um, of the sickle is kind of sharp and uh, it has the sharp end compared to curates right here that has a dull end like uh, the shape of a spoon and now we have three categories of instruments roughly that i'll introduce you first they are sicko with the sharp end and these three are universal curates and these two are grazy curates so for the sicko we use sickle just for the supra gingival calculus so we don't insert these instruments into the place um, below the gum line okay and for the curate you can use like um, with both supra and uh, subgingival calculus like but basically we use them more in the subgingival calculus and for the deeper pockets when you have pockets like more than like six seven millimeters crazy curates are designed for using in those area which i found really really nice and uh, we're gonna introduce you first of all there are two kinds of sickles here okay so um the one with a straight angle right here we call it like um this is a universal sickle for both anterior and posterior you can see um if Actually, there is like another kind of sickle that has like straight line. Those are for anterior teeth. But this one is a little bit like angle, but it's not like it doesn't like have the angle this much. So this one is universal. But the other one right here, this is for the posterior teeth only. I don't think we have this in the clinic. So we're gonna we're just gonna skip this. We normally use this in the clinic, okay? This is a universal um sickle. So when you use this instrument, okay, make sure that like the lower shank area is parallel to the like um to the tooth axis. So the lower shank parallel to the tooth axis, and then you go between the tooth, and then you can use the up motion to scale between like um interproximal surfaces so you can scale on the mesial and on the distal okay or you can scale on the inside right here on the mesial and distal this is very simple so basically you just use it between the teeth to clean like um at the interproximal area below the contact points of each uh, interproximal area both the posterior teeth and anterior teeth and the uh, area where you clean is just at the like um anything above the gum line to the like underneath the contact okay do not insert this instrument below the gum line because it can hurt um the patient's